So for the past couple of years, we've been seeing better and better cold wallets hit the market. And as a result, more competitive pricing. In fact, some of my favorite cold wallets cost less than $100. So in this video, I'm going to share four of the most secure cold wallets under $100. Now I know we all have different needs and levels of experience when it comes to storing and managing our crypto. So rather than just ranking these in an order, I wanna break them down into specific categories. So the categories I'll cover in this video will be number one, best security features, number two, the best coin support, three, the most compatible wallet, and four, I'll cover the best overall wallet in my experience. And this isn't a long comprehensive list of every single wallet under $100. This is four of my personal favorite wallets that I feel confident recommending to anyone who's looking for a secure cold wallet that won't break the bank because I think that's more valuable than recommending 100 different wallets. I'd rather just go super in depth on four of my personal favorite wallets because that is more helpful when trying to make a decision. That said, we have a lot to cover in this video starting with the first category, which is the wallet with the best security features and that is the Keystone 3 Pro. Now to be fair this is the only wallet on this list that's going to cost slightly more than $100 coming in at $139. But the reason I'm mentioning it is because not only is it one of the most secure cold wallets on the market but if you use my discount code in the description you can get it for just over $100 plus Keystone has a lot of sales that brings it down to below the $100 price range. So depending on the time of year, you could definitely pick this up for under $100 or again, use my discount code and get it for just over $100. That said, I don't recommend the Keystone 3 Pro to everyone, especially if you're new to crypto or cold wallets in general, mainly because it is 100% air gap. So it does take more steps to initiate and approve crypto transactions versus other wallets that aren't air gapped, mainly because you're using the camera on the rear of the device to scan QR codes on your other device, such as your computer or your phone. And then you have to use your computer or your phone to again scan the actual wallet to approve the transaction so there are just more steps involved to initiate and complete a transaction and since the 3 pro is air gapped you can use a micro sd card to update the firmware which does take a little technical know-how but there are plenty of online tutorials on how to do that if you want to use it in the air gap mode that said, even though the air gap mode does technically reduce potential attack vectors, it makes the Keystone 3 Pro not as user friendly as all the other wallets on this list. Also, this wallet does not have a native app to manage your crypto. So Ledger has Ledger Live, Trezor has Trezor Suite. This does not have an app. Instead, you use third party hot wallets like MetaMask, for example, to manage your crypto. And I know what you're thinking, this doesn't seem secure at all. But it is, there are no security risks with connecting your hardware wallet to a third party software wallet because the private key and all the transactions approval still occur on the actual wallet. It's actually safer because instead of relying on one centralized app, like the Ledger Live, for example, you're relying on numerous third party apps. So that way, even if one of these apps disappear, it doesn't really affect you because there are a ton of other apps you can use with this wallet. However, one of my favorite features about the Keystone 3 Pro is you can choose how you use it, meaning you don't have to use it in air gap mode if you don't want to. So this does make it more user friendly. So you can use the included USB-C cable to do things like update the firmware and approve transactions if you wanna use it that way. Additional features that make the 3 Pro one of the most secure wallets on the market is the use of its three secure element chips. So a secure element chip is the same kind of chip that's used in bank cards and electronic passports to protect sensitive data in the card. In this case, two of the chips are used to protect your private key. And then the third secure element chip is used to store and protect your fingerprint data because the Keystone 3 Pro actually has a biometric fingerprint scanner on the rear of the device that you can use to approve transactions and even unlock your wallet. Plus you can add multiple fingerprints to your wallet so that if you want you know, your wife or your friend or someone else to be able to access your wallet, you can save their fingerprint data as well. And that way they can do everything that you can do. This wallet also has an anti-blind signing feature that provides you all the transaction details on screen before you ever approve the transaction. And this can help keep you safe from one of the most common crypto scams in the world, which is phishing scams. It's also the first wallet to use a payment card industry or PCI anti-tamper mechanism that will destroy all the data on the device if anyone tries to tamper with it or open up the wallet in any way. And it's also one of the only wallets that supports three seed phrases 
at one time. So you can manage up to three wallets using this one device at the same time. Plus this is 100% open source from its hardware to its firmware. And it's been audited by a reputable blockchain security company, Key Labs. They have audited other wallet brands as well. And this proves that there are no vulnerabilities or backdoors in this wallet. And with that, it supports Shamir backup along with the hidden wallet or passphrase option, AKA the 13th and 25th word seed phrase option. Plus it supports more than 25 hot wallets, making it compatible with over 5,500 coins and tokens across 200 different blockchain networks. So when you combine all these features with its large four inch touchscreen, you've got yourself one of the best bang for your buck wallets on the market. But again, I wouldn't recommend this wallet to everyone, only if you've used a cold wallet before or if you're somewhat tech savvy and willing to learn how to use an air gap device. Next up, we have the wallet with the best coin support and that is the SafePal X1. And this wallet is going to be much easier to use than the Keystone 3 Pro because it is not air gapped. It's also extremely affordable only $69 originally, but SafePal actually did something literally insane that I've never seen. And they gave me a 40% off code to give to you. You can find that in the description of this video. So that means this wallet is only $29.99, making it the most affordable wallet on this list. But don't get me wrong, just because this wallet is extremely affordable does not mean that it lacks in any way. This thing is actually really simple to use and it has a ton of security features, so let's get into it. So thanks to the SafePal app, the X1 is compatible with both mobile and desktop devices. So you can use your iOS or Android device with the SafePal X1 as well as your desktop browsers. So that's going to be Chrome, Edge, and Firefox browsers. And to sign transactions, you just have to turn the Bluetooth on on your wallet and of course on your device that has the app on it. And then you just enter your user-generated pin code to approve the transaction. And since the X1 uses high-speed Bluetooth 5.0, it transfers data much quicker and has an incredible range of 800 feet, which could be good or bad. But if you're concerned about the Bluetooth being on, you can always disable Bluetooth when you're done using the wallet in the settings, or you could just use the included USB-C cable and transact using your desktop device without ever enabling the Bluetooth function. Something else I noticed about this wallet that makes it easier to use and just more user-friendly overall is its design. It reminds me a lot of a calculator. It has 12 buttons on the device to navigate it and do things like enter your pin, or enter your passphrase or enter your seed phrase. Whereas most wallets on the market only have two to four buttons, which can make doing simple things like entering your seed phrase quite a task. But with the X1, because it has those 12 buttons, it's a lot quicker. The screen is only 1.8 inches, which is not large by any means, but it is still big enough for me to clearly read everything that's displayed on the screen. And the buttons are big enough. I have fat fingers and I can press them without any issues. There's plenty of spacing between each button. And the device overall is a perfect size, not too big not too small. Now, when it comes to security, I was actually surprised to learn that it has most of the security features that any wallet on the market has. So it has an EAL5 plus secure element chip, which again is used to protect your private key. It also has a self-destruct mechanism. So if anyone tries to physically tamper with your wallet, like open it up to try to access the chip or whatever it may be, it will destroy any data internally. And that's thanks to its multiple security sensors built in the device. It also has a device authentication mechanism that'll tell you if the device is authentic or not, if it's been used or not. That way, when you first get your wallet and powered on, you can be sure that your wallet has not been tampered with before you got your hands on it. The X1 also supports creating or importing a passphrase, AKA a hidden wallet. So if you like that security feature, you will find it on this device as well. One thing that it doesn't have is 100% open source firmware. Because this wallet uses an EAL certified secure element, SafePal actually has to sign a confidentiality agreement with the chip manufacturer that doesn't allow them to disclose some of the information about the chip. So although certain parts of the firmware and the app is 100% open source, some parts of the firmware are not open source, basically the part that has to do with the secure element. but it is audited by Key Labs, again, a reputable blockchain security company, which has proven there are no vulnerabilities or backdoors in this device. But coin support is where the X1 really shines. It supports more than 10,000 coins and tokens across 100 different blockchain networks. And I actually think that's an underestimate. I'm pretty sure it supports more than 10,000 coins and tokens. And when a new coin or token support is released, all you have to do to get that support is update the firmware. So if you're looking for a wallet that's really easy to use and that offers some of the best coin support on the market, 
definitely the X1 is a good choice. Plus, it's the most affordable wallet on the market. Next up, we have one of the most compatible wallets on the market that comes in under $100, and that is the One Key Classic 1S coming in at $99 or even cheaper if you use my discount code in the description of this video. And I know what you're thinking, most compatible with what? Well, you can use the One S with your Mac, Windows, Linux, desktop device, iOS or Android phone, and Chrome, Edge, or Brave browsers. So if you prefer using your wallet with your mobile device, or maybe you prefer using it with desktop, it doesn't really matter because the One S is compatible with all of these devices. But it's not just the compatibility of the One S that makes it one of my favorite wallets on the market. It's actually its software. The One Key Wallet app is one of the best hardware wallet apps on the market, at least in my experience, and you don't even need to buy a one key hardware wallet to use the one key app. You can actually download the one key app right now on your mobile or desktop device and try it out. You can just use it as a hot wallet like MetaMask. So if you do want to test out the software before you ever buy the actual wallet, you can do that. So if you do want to use the one S with your phone, you would just enable Bluetooth and you can transact via Bluetooth. Or if you prefer to not use Bluetooth, you can use the included USB-C cable, connect it to your desktop device, and you can initiate and approve transactions that way, along with updating the device's firmware. Something else I really like about the Classic 1S is its design. It's extremely simplistic. It's super thin. It's about the thickness of two bank cards stacked on top of each other. And it fits in your actual wallet if if you want to hold it in your wallet, not that you'd want to, but if you do want to put this in your physical wallet, you can put your wallet in your wallet. The screen on the One S is slightly larger than the SafePal X1, not by much though. It also has a lot less buttons, only four buttons. So it has a power button, an up and down arrow and a confirmation button. So of course it has everything you need to actually use a wallet. It's just not going to be as simple or as quick, I should say, as if you're using the X1. But overall, it's simplistic design is why I like it so much because it's extremely inconspicuous. But don't let a simple design fool you. This thing is a vault in terms of security. And the Classic 1S is actually an upgrade from One Key's previous model, the Classic. Now, what they upgraded is the secure element chip inside the device before they didn't use an EAL certified chip. But now the 1S uses an EMV CO. EAL 6 Plus Secure Element Chip, which is one of the best chips that you could put in a hardware wallet. And similar to the X1, everything about the Classic 1S is 100% open source, except for the Secure Element Chip because it is EAL certified. They can't open source that. However, I'm not too concerned about this because one key actually works closely with Slow Mist, who is another reputable blockchain security company that audits all their products and all their software and proves there are no vulnerabilities or backdoors in this device. Besides the secure element, the One S also utilizes a user generated pin. Uh, it has the hidden wallet option if you want to do that. And you can also authenticate or confirm that the firmware you're using on the device is authentic one key firmware. That way, you know, you don't have anything malicious downloaded on the device. And you can do that by connecting your wallet to the one key app and just tapping a button. Something else unique about the classic one S is its packaging, which is believe it or not, another security feature. So when the box shows up at your door, it comes with tearaway tabs that prevent someone from opening the box without you knowing. And even the physical one S device is going to be wrapped in a security seal that would also be a sign that someone had handled your device if it were open when you received the actual wallet. So I'd recommend the One S to really anyone, whether you're a beginner or even a more advanced crypto user, mainly because it has all the security features that you would want, including the hidden wallet option. And it also is compatible with mobile and desktop devices. So you have plenty of options in terms of how you use this wallet. Now that brings us to my favorite cold wallet overall that's under $100. And if you've been subscribed to my channel and have seen my other videos, it's no surprise that Tangem is the wallet that I recommend the most. And not just because it's one of the most affordable wallets on the market. It's only $50 to $60, depending on if you use the discount code in my description and whether or not you get the two or the three pack, but also because Tangem is literally the most user-friendly cold wallet on the market. There's no comparison. So Tangem is an NFC card, so all you need to use this wallet is the card and an NFC compatible smartphone, which is pretty much all phones on the market today, whether you're an iOS or an Android person, your phone probably has an NFC antenna in it. It's the same thing you use when you go to check out at a grocery store and you hold your phone up. It's that same antenna. And that's one of the reasons why Tangem is so easy to use. All you need to do is download the Tangem app and 
you're ready to go. I can set up this wallet in literally three minutes, but I've set up a lot of cold wallets over the year. So I actually got my friend a Tangent Wallet who was brand new to cold wallets and I let him set it up without any help. He had it set up in about five minutes and it's super simple. The app walks you through the entire setup process step by step. As far as using the app, it's straightforward and you can do things like buy, sell, and even swap crypto directly in the app. So it really has everything you need on your phone, but all the security features and your private key and your crypto is secured by the card. So to approve transactions, all you do is hold your card up to your phone and then enter your user generated access code or your face ID if you have that enabled. So there's no finagling with a bunch of different cords or different devices. All you need is your card and your phone and it really lowers a barrier to entry to getting a cold wallet and actually being comfortable using your cold wallet. So Tangem is usually marketed as a seedless wallet, which means there is no seed phrase that you have to write down or record or worry about losing. Uh, and that's why it comes with the option to buy a two or a three pack because each card stores your private key and thus acts as your backup since you don't have a seed phrase. However, I actually don't recommend using the Tangem wallet as a seedless wallet because personally, I like to know my seed phrase. That way I can take that seed phrase from Tangem and put it into another wallet if I want to use another wallet. Um, that said, Tangem lets you choose if you want to use it as a seedless wallet without a seed phrase. You can set it up that way. But if you prefer to use a seed phrase like I do, you can also choose to generate or import your own seed phrase. And don't get me wrong, just because Tangem is the most user-friendly cold wallet on the market does not mean that it's not secure. It has basically all the same security features that you would expect from any secure and reputable cold wallet, including an EAL 6 plus secure element chip, has a user-generated access code, you can enable face ID, and there are also some new features coming, including the ability to create a 24 word seed phrase, along with the option to create or import a hidden wallet. And I don't care about what all the naysayers think about Tangem or it not being secure. The data speaks for itself. And that is Tangem has sold over 1 million wallets and not a single wallet has ever been hacked. And it still continues to be the most simple wallet on the market. Also something I really like about Tangem is you never have to update the firmware on the wallet. The firmware comes pre-installed. This is done by design. That way someone else can't get a hold of your wallet and install some malicious firmware on it. Um, so anytime you need to get access to new features that are released, all you have to do is update the Tangem app on your mobile device. Super easy. We all know how to update an app. On that note, Tangem's firmware is not open source because again, it uses an EAL certified chip. However, it has been audited by two blockchain security companies, two different companies that have both proven there are no vulnerabilities or backdoors in this wallet. However, the Tangem app is 100% open source. You can view all of its code on GitHub. And even if the app disappeared from the App Store or the Google Play Store and you didn't have it on your phone for some reason, you would still be able to download the app from GitHub because the code is all right there. Not only that, but Tangem is one of the only wallet companies that has continued to bring new and innovative products and features to their wallet. Whereas other wallet manufacturers, some of the most popular ones have remained the same literally since they came out for like the last five plus years. And it just gets kind of boring. Tangem on the other hand is just different. I mean, it's so simple and it works so well. Uh, it's like, why didn't anyone else think of this? Uh, that said, this is actually one of the most durable cold wallets on the market. It's IP68 rated, so of course it's dustproof, it's waterproof, and it's resistant to extreme temperatures. Hot, cold, doesn't matter. And as a result, Tangem actually comes with a 25-year product replacement warranty, which gives it the best warranty out of any cold wallet on the market. For all these reasons, it's easy for me to recommend Tangem, whether it's to you or my friends and family, and anyone who has used a Tangem wallet, whether they're a beginner or even a more advanced crypto user, will probably agree that Tangem is one of the best wallets on the market, and its simplicity and durability make it one of the easiest options. That said, you can find reviews for all these wallets on my hardware wallet review playlist right here. So check that out. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.